Today I will be reporting a part of my testimony and the experience I had with God. I'm sure that the Spirit of God will fill everyone's hearts and will convince you, God will be talking strongly to your heart, I will be telling you the experience I had with God when I was in a coma in the hospital and what God showed me in heaven, later I will be recording the part where I was taken to the Hades the world of the dead, let every word that will come out of my mouth will be encouragement for you to get closer to the Lord especially you who are far away, if you come to the feet of the Lord. When I was 19 years old God has been talking to me using his vessels and servants. The Lord had a work in my life he had a project in my life to be ministering and preaching the saint the word of the Lord, but I didn't want to listen, when I was 19 years old I was very rebellious, I just wanted to know about clubs and parties, but God, through his infinite mercy was using his servants to talk to me about the work that God has in my life. At that time my hair reached below my shoulder and looks like Indian hair, I had 16 piercings in my ears and his marks on my chin transversely everywhere in my body, a good part of my body is tattooed, there was a time in my life when I started doing slave tattoos on people's bodies, in the end I lived a totally mundane life, without wanting to know nothing about God, but one day my sister Luz Anit, who is the only one in the family that was an evangelical, and the only one who served God, was used as a channel of blessing for our family, God used my sister Luz Anit in revelation and prophecy constantly there at my mother's house, she pray and prays with harp and singing hymn and did what God told her to do, but on a certain Thursday afternoon God used her to speak to everyone in the family in a stronger way, back then our family was weakened due to the loss of one of our sisters called Beatrice. She had passed away and the family was fragile and in mourning especially my mother, it was around 15 to 20 days since she had died and on that day the Lord used my sister Luz in eat, she came to our house to pray for us and was at my mother's side, first she spoke in strange tongues, then she started prophesying and saying, if my mother does not go to the feet of Jesus Christ in repentance, God will allow the enemy to touch another one of her child especially her son. My mother jumped up in emotion twice and said but I go to a Catholic church even if I don't go to an evangelical church, my mother didn't know that the person God was going to allow the enemy to touch would be me, I'm the only man in the family, so my mother had a higher price for me, I didn't know that the person was going to be me, my sister Luz Anit came to my side and began to deliver a prophecy saying to me, I had chosen you since your mother womb and you will be a preacher of my word. You are a preacher, it is not because someone says it's because I the Lord say it, and for the love of your soul I will allow the enemy to touch your body but not your soul, in three days there will be a knife in the world waiting for you, I didn't want to listen this, I turned my back, it wasn't my sister that I turned my back on but God who was using her mouth to try to reach me, I went inside my room with a hard heart saying don't come with this business of revelation and prophecy to try to strike fear in me this won't work for me, but my sister said to me remember to ask God for forgiveness while you are alive because after you die you no longer have the opportunity and there's no way back, back then I used to say that it is better to suffer the pain of rebuke than to suffer the pain of repentance because with the pain of repentance there is no coming back. In reality after you die you find that there are many people inside Hades called hell but there is no going back that's the ultimate truth. I told my sister Luz Anit to hell I won't go there, she looked at me with smile and said what God did in Paul's life he will do it in your life too. When I met with my colleagues on Saturday another brother came to talk to me about Jesus and said, young man, if you die the way you are in the practice of sin you are going to hell. I replied to him, if you talk to God, tell him that if heaven and hell exist he can take me there that's when I will believe, as far as I am concerned heaven is here on earth and hell is here on earth, I didn't want to listen anything about God, and being rude and being ignorant I went to the club on Saturday to enjoy life, the devil had already chained me, I was there drinking, prostituting, doing what pleases my flesh, Satan was there, not far from me seeking to conquer my soul, but all the time in my mind I could hear a voice talking to me and I knew it was the Spirit of God trying to convince me to go home but I didn't listen, 
I continued drinking with my colleagues ignoring the voice in my head trying to convince me to go home and be with my mom and go to church at night with my mother, but how many people are not listening to the voice of the Spirit of God and they are dying, while I was sitting the drinking beer and using drugs, when it was around 11 o'clock at night, a colleague of mine approached, I'm not going to mention his name here for he is already dead, he was the king of drugs, women and money known to our entire family for he played video games with me and walked with me, he came to our table and had a drink, he was very distressed and agitated, he went away and came back 10 minutes later, I felt something bad that came from him a negative vibration, but I didn't have any discernment that he was wanting to kill me because the devil had already placed it in his heart to kill me, everything was prepared in advance by the devil and we were walking in an alley when this friend pulled a sharpening machete and cut me. I asked him, man, why did you do this to me, but when I looked at him I didn't see my colleague I saw the physiognomy of a demon, an ugly animal in front of me with eyes smoking with hatred, but people in that alley intervened quickly to stop him, today I understand that it was God's hand that had stopped the devil from taking my soul, the police car came to arrest my friend, when I was bleeding it was as if a screen opened in front of me, at that moment I left this physical world and a vision opened as if it were a big screen and I saw my life unfolding in front of me passing before me, I saw the last scene at my mother's house where the sister delivered the prophecy to me, indeed God tried to reach me many times but I didn't want to listen to him, I regret that I carry the weight of responsibility that I carry today, God gave me a slap but I didn't wake up, just like Paolo fell from the horse, I remembered the last word of my sister asking me to ask God for forgiveness because once you're dead there's no way out, still I said a prayer to God whispering and feeling pain, I said Lord if there's a way for my life please forgive me and give me one more opportunity just one more an opportunity, it was the shortest and the most sincere prayer of my life, I was quite popular in the city but beyond the grave, there was no friends by my side, I was alone to face my eternity, this is when you will know that God is God, there are a lot of people who think they are arrogant, but one day you will have an encounter with God and you will know that everything on this earth is temporary, but whoever do the will of God will remain forever, as a result of my sincere prayer God took me, I stayed the blood gushing from my mouth I saw the commotion of people around me saying my name, I saw a colleague of mine that put me on her lap and I started to choke and I heard someone saying, lay him on the floor don't carry him, I was like that taking my last breaths and I was leaving my body through my mouth, people around me were talking when I took my last breaths, my body started to freeze, I started to cool down and started to freeze from my feet to my head, when I stopped breathing I was already there. I no longer heard the voices of the people like I was hearing before for I was hearing the voices from far away, I told people I am fine, but no one heard me, I saw everything and heard everything as if I was far, when I turned around to the other side I saw my body taken out on the ground, I saw another Luciano lying there and when I saw that I had become two, I went into shock because my mind was remembering everything, I said my god it's true what believers preach after death there is a life, please make me come back Lord give me an opportunity, at the same time I said there is no way for me anymore, I no longer have a chance, I tried to touch this body, I remembered everything my sister said to me when people die without Jesus, then a light began to surround me and was pulling me, I saw that a positive energy was involved in this transition, when I passed through that growing light which is the strongest in the world it did not burn my eyes, when I looked around me I didn't see the sun, the star or the moon, but I saw around me a beautiful light resplendent, and I felt the greatest love, my hair wasn't long, my face didn't have piercings, I wasn't wearing clothes like on earth, it's as if it was spiritual fabric a spiritual garment that I was wearing, I was in a place that is the frontier of the kingdom of heaven as if it were the courtyard of heaven, because when my eyes opened I saw a garden with all kinds of wonderful plants, my eye could not see the end of it, I saw that rainbow, and many things that moved, I saw a huge river that seems like crystal clear water, I looked into it and it was like my image was reflected, it was so transparent and it was so beautiful, 
When I was there admiring all that beauty I felt like I was a six years old boy, it was like I was an innocent toddler that saw his dad and wanted to be on his lap, I didn't want to leave anymore, and I wanted to stay there because of that joy and that innocence, that harmony and that peace, inside me I felt like a six year old child who would never get out of there, when I saw a light that came towards me and stood by my side. I saw that it was about two meters high and I could see that there was an angel in the light who was sent to talk to me, I observe these pink plants in the garden are not something artificial with technology, you can't compare, it's like God says to Paul in 2 Corinthians 2 9 what the eye has never seen that has not reached the heart of man nor his ears is what God has prepared for those who love him, when flower and trees in this immense garden moved, they came out of the music note and sound of instruments. In this paradise every flower sung praise with instruments, like the one we hear here with guitar, it's a totally touching and different, and when I thought to myself, what is happening? The angel answered me and said, here even the plants and the roses when they move they praise God. Nature praises God because they are alive, and when living flower move the sound of music and melody with instrument invade that whole garden, I was in this celestial environment where I was in touch with peace and glory. When the waters of the crystal clear river moved there came sound of melody never heard before on the earth that enveloped me, when I started listening suddenly a noise of hymns started coming in where I was singing praises and when I started to hear praises sung I was rapture in delight, I don't know what is happening when that praise was coming in that environment I was in golden shiny balls that shone like stars and went up. When I looked up I lowered my head and I didn't feel worthy of looking at what was above me where I was hearing those praise, and when I asked myself what that is the golden shiny balls that shone like stars, the angel said these crystal balls of gold that is rising is the prayers and the praises of the saints of the earth, those who worship the Father in spirit and in truth, their praise rises to the heights as far as the Lord was, where I am not worthy of looking, I couldn't look at what was above me. The angel said Luciano, see, the land is mine. The vision was transferred in a form like lightning and the same time I was in that place in my vision, I saw this land completely covered in darkness, I saw those very strong points of light in the middle of that darkness, which were the church, but other churches have their light turned off they have no bright light on them, and the angel said not all the light of God is upon the bride because not all that are worshipping the Father in spirit and in truth. Some have their his light erased, the Bible says that the world is already evil but the church is the light of the world and the salt of the earth, my vision went back there again and I saw a landscape and I saw many people lying down on a garden, the grass were completely different and green, from the grass were lying multitude of people, the angel told me they are those who are dying in Christ, those who are dying in Christ are here waiting for that great day the day for their works to be in order to receive that reward and occupy a part in heaven, those who are dying in Christ are coming here in Abraham place of rest until the day of receiving the reward of your works, and when I heard a praise that invaded that place, I started listening to this praise and the angel spoke to me, you need come back, and I said leave me here I'm like a child in my father's arms. I didn't see anyone around me but I wanted to stay there, no one who has an opportunity to go to heaven wants to return to this earth, what I ask God is that one day I come and live with you again, I was in the garden, I wasn't in heaven where there are mansions, I wasn't where there are the streets of gold as written in Revelation, I was in the garden that I understand that it was the garden of heaven because of the wonders that I saw in the garden through crystal clear waters due to the moving shelters and various things involved in that environment with a lot of glory with a lot of grace, I wanted to stay, there will be no memory of suffering, the suffering from earth will be erased from your memory, the two anguish. The angel spoke with a lot of authority, you have, when he spoke like that for the third time time. It was in the blink of an eye when I opened my eyes, 